the International Maritime Organization's goal to legislatively reduce emissions from global shipping is the key driver behind the development of numerous new marine fuels. VPS pioneered marine fuel testing, analysing the first ever marine fuel sample as far back as 1981. Now with over 40 years experience, the company advises shipping companies based on their scientific and engineering expertise on how to achieve decarbonisation through sustainable vessel operations and safe, effective fuel management. Shipping carries 90% of the world's trade. For over 40 years, VPS have tested the quality of bunker fuels, which has helped prevent damage to vessels, crew and ecosystems. Today, VPS say they're working to make the marine industry more sustainable through data-led decarbonisation and the development and testing of innovative low-carbon fuels. This marine fuel laboratory in Rotterdam is one of four VPS run globally. Others in Singapore, Houston in Texas and Fujairah in the Gulf, serving some 200 ports worldwide. The samples VPS test account for over 70 million tonnes of fuel delivered to ships each year. The International Marine Fuel Standard, known as ISO 8217, usually requires more than 15 tests per sample, but VPS go beyond that by offering bespoke tests and technical advice to vessel operators to optimise performance. We're probably testing now around about 150,000 samples per year, um, fuel samples that is. And um, in addition to that, we undertake things like chemical contamination testing, wax appearance, temperature testing, reserve stability number testing. So all of these newer tests, which aren't currently within the standard, provide much more information to our clients and give greater levels of protection. We're utilizing our 40 years of experience in marine fuel testing to develop new and proprietary test methods, which give much more information about the fuel and especially the new fuels but ultimately we're protecting the ships, the crew and the environment. VPS say their oil condition monitoring is like taking a blood sample for diagnosis. It helps to ensure the ship runs efficiently, safely and sustainably. When bunker fuel is combusted to propel vessels through the oceans, it emits um, CO2, SOx, NOx and black carbon. These are quite harmful to the environment. They can lead to acidification of the oceans and damage marine life. We are currently working um, on a number of low carbon fuels, um, including methanol, biofuels, even ammonia. And we're developing test methods to test these fuels and to look at important parameters during the combustion process um, that will help ship operators to use these fuels of the future and reduce CO2 emissions whilst propelling their vessels through the oceans. VPS provide a holistic approach to understanding vessels' efficiency and operational footprints by monitoring emissions. Their advanced MARES platform helps track and reduce CO2, and the application Knox Digital offers a new digital infrastructure for calculating and reporting emissions in regulated areas. All responsible companies need a credible strategy for meeting the climate goals. And in order to do that, you need data access and you need transparency around emissions. And that's exactly where the Mars application provided by VPS comes into play. What do your clients learn from this? They get the insight they need to make precise decisions on how to decarbonize their fleet operations over time. And now, with the VPS database as well, the biggest database on fuel quality in the world, if we combine that with the Mars database on operational efficiency, that's a powerful combination. And I think that's a step into the future. Into an environmentally sustainable future is where VPS want to take vessel operators by providing insights into fuel quality and compliance trends using data to drive decarbonization.